Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about the best VPN services to use. We've got Express, Nord, Surfshark, and CyberGhost. So let's talk about them. Starting with Express VPN. Now I'll move on to the other VPNs. I just want to make sure that you know exactly what each VPN is best for. So Express has 105 countries available right here, and you'll be able to secure up to eight devices per subscription. Now, as far as torrenting, streaming, general privacy, all of these VPNs are great. But when it comes to consistency in accessing streaming services and overall reliability, if you want to use an application that is very light on your device, let's say maybe you have an older device or you just want something that is as quick as it can be, ExpressVPN is the lightest software out of most of the other VPN applications out there. As you can tell, the user interface is incredibly simple the entire thing is just like three windows in total. And it's super quick to connect and disconnect from the servers. And even on startup, if I were to launch all of these VPNs all together, ExpressVPN would consistently be the first VPN to launch before any other one. So as far as reliability, consistency, and if you want to feel as safe as possible, you just want a VPN that's incredibly easy to use. And again, very quick, not just as far as download speed once you're connected to the VPN, but it's also quick to connect to the servers, disconnect from the servers, and the fastest application startup out of all the other VPNs. Now, the next best option, in my opinion, would be NordVPN. And NordVPN is going to be the most well-rounded option that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price. So you'll see that you have things like threat protection, which acts like a little bit of a mini antivirus and also an ad blocker, a tracker blocker, and also defends against malware infested websites and whatnot. You've got 111 countries and the fastest performing protocol being Nord Lynx, making NordVPN arguably faster than any other VPN out there. So if you're looking for a bunch of bonus features, as well as the biggest number of countries out of any other VPN at 111, again, Express has 105, which isn't really that much behind. But again, if you're looking for the maximized number of countries out of all the other VPNs, then you can go with NordVPN, especially if you prioritize, again, having a bunch of bonus features and the fastest connection, I would say as fast as ExpressVPN is once connected, NordVPN is about five to eight or sometimes 10% faster than Express which is, again, not that big of a difference. But if you want to maximize your numbers, then yeah, NordVPN would be a great option, especially that it still works really well with streaming and torrenting. Now for the third option, that'll be Surfshark. And Surfshark is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you'll be seeing with more expensive VPNs like Express and Nord. Now, if I didn't mention, NordVPN allows for up to 10 devices per subscription. So that's two more than Express. But let's say eight devices are not enough and neither are 10. Maybe you want to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices. Well, this is where Surfshark comes in. You can share it around with as many friends and family members as you would like, or if you have like 10, 20 devices in your home that you want to secure via the VPN, then you can do that very easily with Surfshark because again, it allows for that. And not only are you getting the best budget VPN, but you're getting a lot of value for the money. Remember how I mentioned that with Nord, you're getting a lot of value for the money? Well, Surfshark is actually such a big bang for the buck that even if you go for the one plan, which is considered to be the higher tier plan with Surfshark, it will still be cheaper than NordVPN's cheapest plan, except that with Surfshark, you're getting a fully fledged cybersecurity package, such as identity protection features, a full antivirus, a VPN and safe search features and other features that just contribute to your overall cybersecurity. So as far as value for the money, well, you're getting a premium VPN, I would say for a very low price. Now, if you're looking for something that's even cheaper, cheaper and you don't necessarily care about all of the features and whatever bonuses that you're getting with Surfshark or NordVPN and you just want a VPN that essentially secures your device 
It keeps it secure and so that nobody is able to know what you're doing online like any other VPN, of course, but it does so reliably with CyberGhost here. And you're still able to access streaming services. You have torrenting dedicated specialty servers and gaming servers as well, not to mention servers that are also optimized for more privacy if you're in a censorship heavy country or something like that. So that is CyberGhost. It's essentially the best budget VPN that gets the job done without any extra fluff or any other features that could be useful in different situations. It's just a good VPN. Now, what I don't necessarily like so much about CyberGhost, and I would say one of the main differences between CyberGhost and the other three that I mentioned, is the fact that it's not as compatible with WireGuard as the other VPNs. And that's because with Express, Nord, and Surfshark, you're getting between 3,000 and 6,000 servers. Whereas with CyberGhost, you've got about 10,000 servers. And while having more servers might seem like a good thing at first glance, what ends up happening is that quite a few of these servers are not compatible with the fastest protocol that's gonna give you the fastest speeds, which is the WireGuard protocol. And we don't really have that problem with Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Whereas with CyberGhost, you're gonna have to use the automatic selection. And here and there, you might connect to OpenVPN and ICAF2 instead of WireGuard, which will result in slightly slower speeds so that would be my criticism of CyberGhost. Otherwise, it's honestly a really good VPN for the price. It's definitely the cheapest considering you're not really sacrificing that much on quality and security and performance overall. So these, I would say, are the top VPNs. Again, for a quick summary, I would go for Express if you're looking for the easiest to use and you just want to feel as safe as possible. And it's just overall very consistent. It works really well. It's light on your device. I think the best analogy to describe Express VPN is if Apple made a VPN, it would look like ExpressVPN, that's for sure. So that would be for Express. Now, if you're looking for something that's a bit more well-rounded, it offers a lot of bonus features, and I just can't really see anybody not liking NordVPN, especially once you start using it and you realize how useful it is, then yeah, that would be the best option if you're looking for a bunch of bonus features and a VPN that literally just does everything right. Now, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that you can share around with your family and friends, and it still does the job very, very well, like any other premium VPN. And not to mention, of course, that you also get a lot of other cybersecurity tools with the higher tier plan that's still cheaper than most other plans. So that's a huge bang for the buck. If that's what you're looking for, then Surfshark is the perfect choice, honestly. Now, as far as saving even more money, then you can go with CyberGhost, considering that you don't really mind putting up with uh, some server inconsistencies here and there if you're set on using the WireGuard protocol, which again is the fastest protocol. But if you want to have an easier time, just go with the automatic, especially if you're not really that particular about speeds. Otherwise, CyberGhost is a very good VPN. It's very consistent. It works for streaming, torrenting, gaming, privacy, and nobody will know what you're doing online, whether you're using Express, Nord, Surfshark, or CyberGhost in the first place. So as far as security, yeah, they're all great. And again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you guys are interested though in individual reviews, you'll find everything you need in the description down below so that you can learn a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, and security features. And you'll also find links to pricing and discounts if you wanna go straight there. And what I would recommend if you end up getting any of them, let's just demonstrate with Express for the sake of the example, because I did speak with Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan with the higher rate than with the six month or one year plan, because oftentimes they think they're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month but they end up using it for more than a month and it keeps resubscribing to this very expensive rate, which is honestly a waste of money. So if you're looking to save a little bit more in the long term, you probably want to go for something that saves you more in the long term, unless you know you're not going to need the VPN for more than a month. Then yeah, you want to go for something that saves you more. Either way, if you're not satisfied, there is a 30 day money back guarantee on all the VPNs, not just Express with the exception of CyberGhost, which has a 45 day money back guarantee. So feel free to use that, of course, uh, if you feel like. And again, you'll find all the links below. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.